Hi everyone, I'm David Wojcik and this is MBOT TV. Welcome to MBOT TV, a weekly recap of what happened in business at the Mississauga Board of Trade and around the city of Mississauga. A light week in the general news area, but lots happening at the province and the rules governing municipal elections. Brad Butt is coming up with full details. Are you looking for an amazing offer from a prestigious golf course? Listen to what Greta Valley Golf and Country Club has in store for you. Change the way you do business with a Credit Valley corporate-owned membership. With full transferable privileges and limited space available, this is the way to value clients. Credit Valley Golf and Country Club, making the world of business better. And now for our political update with Director of Government Relations, Brad Butt. Brad? Well, thanks, David. Premier Doug Ford dropped a bombshell last Friday on the municipal elections, announcing that the election of regional chairs in Peel, York, Niagara, and Muskoka would be suspended, and that Toronto City Council would be cut in half. The Premier's announcement will not affect the election for Mississauga councillors, nor the number of wards, which still sits at 11. Mayor Bonnie Crombie supported the Premier's decision to stop the election of a regional chair in Peel, stating, an appointed chair saves taxpayers money, she said. The decision to move towards an elected chair was made unilaterally in the 2016 Fall Economic Statement and was done without consultation or support of the municipalities. Candidates that were running for chair, including Councillor Nando Yanika, former MPP Bob Delaney, and former Ontario PC Party leader Patrick Brown, are now out of the running, with only Brown registering at the last minute to now run for Mayor of Brampton. Nominations are now closed for all municipal offices in Mississauga, and to find out who's running, you can go to www.mississaugavotes.ca. An announcement is expected this week that Ontario will move to the private sale of recreational cannabis rather than a new set of government-run stores known as the Ontario Cannabis Stores. Both MBOT and the Ontario Chamber of Commerce have supported the sale of cannabis in privately-run stores since the federal government announced its intention to legalize cannabis on October the 17th. Bill 4, the Cap and Trade Cancellation Act, will continue to be debated in the Ontario Legislature this week. The government hopes to have passage of this bill by the end of the week. Last Wednesday, I was pleased to represent MBOT in the signing of a Memorandum of Understanding with the Indo-Canadian Chamber of Commerce. MBOT now has seven such agreements, which promotes mutual cooperation and support between business associations. MBOT hosted a roundtable with Stephanie Cousy, the Member of Parliament for Calgary Midnapore, and Conservative Deputy Shadow Minister for Health last Friday with company reps in the life sciences sector. The discussion included the proposed National Pharmacare Plan and the reforms at the patented Medicines Pricing Review Board, which greatly concerned the industry. Life sciences is a very significant employer and economic driver in the city of Mississauga. And MBOT also hosted an information session on the city of Mississauga stormwater levy for companies with very large hard surface footprint properties that are paying the lion's share of this tax. MBOT is working with the Credit Valley and Toronto Region Conservation Authorities to support a program to help large properties qualify for the 50% credit that is part of the program. Another session is planned for September, but these meetings are important in helping our advocacy efforts on the stormwater program. And there's still time to join the Climate Smart Chambers program, providing a large discount for a training program on energy conservation and GHD reductions for your business. The program starts on September 11th, so please contact me directly if you'd like to enroll. Back to you, David. Thanks, Brad. And here is what's coming up at your Mississauga Board of Trade. On August 1st, Membership Matters is at MBOT, a session for new members to discover all the great benefits that your Mississauga Board of Trade has to offer. Season members are always welcome to stop by for a refresher. 
on August 8th. Good Morning Mississauga is at Aaron Mills Town Center. Come out and connect with your MBOT colleagues. Book a speaker spot. Where else can you make over 100 cold calls in just two minutes? On August 23rd, MNP is the sponsor for our summer patio party at Milestones Heart. As the summer heats up, this is, event is the perfect prep for the busy September season ahead. And save the date for the annual extravaganza Awards of Excellence on November 15th, sponsored by MNP and Closing the Gap Healthcare Group. Details about these stories and events are available at www.mbot.com. Until next week, this is David Voitrich wishing you continued success in your business.